<clears throat> okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. It's Bloodshot 17 once again. We're continuing this 100% playthrough. Last time, as I collected a lot of the seeds, the Korok seeds, I also managed to unlock a few more side quests, and I actually even managed to complete one of them. Okay. All right, what I managed to complete in the adventure log here, the side quest I managed to complete, it's around here somewhere. Elden's Colossal Fossil, right here. <clears throat> You restored the Elden Great Skeleton's missing eyeball, and Loon couldn't have been happier. After gazing at your handiwork for a while, Loon told you that her next stop is at the Leviathan Fossil in Hebra. So, so that's where, that's the next side quest to complete. So w we're expecting to meet Loon there again. So yeah. Hello. Excuse me, Golgi Gamer One. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. So glad you could be here after you spent last weekend at PAX East. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead. Okay. All right. The Korok season I'm going to go for in this stream. I have to... I have to mark roughly 100 of them. But I'm just going to mark... That stands for Marqua stands for the current coaxes I'm missing from one Skyview Tower, then I'll move on to the next Skyview Tower and then continue. So that's basically gonna be it. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Alright. <clears throat> Give me one moment. All right, let's go ahead. Here we go. All right, just give me a moment, folks. Oh, and by the way, is it... It turns out I did not get all the uh, Korok seeds from the Lindor's Brow Skyview Tower. I'm actually missing two of them. Alright, just give me one moment here.
All right. One of the score. One of the Korok seeds are missing from the Lumos Brow Skyview Tower. Okay. It's in Tenagar Canyon. And it's actually right over, right over here. Oops. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. Right over. Right about here. All right. And then the other one. The other Korok Sea from the Lindor's Brow Skyview Tower that I'm missing. Is actually right over. Right over here in the Tabantha Village Ruins. All right. <clears throat> All right. All right. Let's go ahead. All right. All right. Mount Lanayru Skyview Tower. Give me a moment. All right, let's recap. All right, Nadra Snowfield. Northwest of this shrine. All right, right, right about here. All right, northwest of the Skyview Tower itself. All right, right about here. Okay. East of the Jogo Shrine slash southeast of the Lanero Road East Gate.
Okay, right about right over here hello Mason welcome to the stream how are you doing today and he hello as well to the adventurers lounge and giga gamer how are you guys doing today Mason, I'm still playing this game um e yeah th this has been the, this has been the same playthrough si since I began last year All right, next one. I'm doing all right, Mason. How's it going for you? Northeast or west, I mean, of the Skyview Tower. Gold seriously hopes that his playthrough of this game doesn't take this long. I mean, I wouldn't go for 100% if I were you, Gold. This is definitely, I think you meant to say worth the money for the game. Okay, I'll just do these for now. All right, let's go. All right, let's finish with those from the Lindor's Brow Skyview Tower first. Okay, we're going to go to the Noda Shrine and go south. Your Breath of the Wild playthrough was not 100%, so as long as you have enough health for the final boss, it'll be all you'll be all right. Okay, okay. I mean, well, well for one, there are new exclu there are new things exclusive in this game that were not previously in Breath of the Wild. Like the Korog mask, for instance, which I'm wearing right now, that was actually DLC. DLC for Breath of the Wild. This game has confirmed, it's been confirmed that this game will not have downloadable content. this way here we go all right here we are in the Tabantha village ruins Okay, the Korok is around here somewhere. Yeah. 
All right, that takes care of that one. All right, give me one moment. All right, now we're gonna go to Tenagar Canyon. Where did I mark it? Okay, remove this pin. Down here, okay. All right, we're gonna go to the stable here, the Makaruka Shrine. Go, go, go. This way, this way. be here but it's not oh here 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 oh dear I know the game just auto save, but I'm gonna manually save. All right. This is to confirm that I am officially 100% done with Lindor's Brow Skyview Tower as far as Korok seeds. Uh, th the problem with that gold is that there are not enough shrines to fully max out both your health and your stamina. The D just like in Breath of the Wild, it's the same case here. I'm o I'm already maxed out at three stamina circles, and if I want to add to my full health, I can only get as much as two temporary hearts. That's the unfortunate thing. All right, just give me one moment. I'm gonna mute again.
Hello, Urge and Bridget. W welcome to the stream. How are you guys doing today? I Urge, I know it's been a while since you last come to my streams. I've been away for over a month. I'm not... Uh, something tragic happened to me. I'm not going to go into details. Okay. Am I just doing side quests now before the final... Bu but what? Well... Yes, but not only that, there, there's still some other stuff I have to do. I still have a little bit, other than the Korok seeds, I still have a little bit more of Hyrule to explore. I, I, I don't know about the sky, but at least the depths and the surface. I mean, not to leave out, I, st I, 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 I still have bosses to take out. I still have paraglider fabrics to collect. Yeah, I still, uh, I, I, I still have all that to get done. I want to try to get all that done before the final boss, and I, I still gotta complete the Hyrule Companion. That's another thing, but I won't be able to complete the Hyrule Companion 100% until after I defeat the final boss. So there's that. Hello Trainer Mystic, welcome to the stream, how are you doing today? Alright, let's go ahead and proceed, okay, what do I have? Okay. Uh, okay, wait, give me a moment, I I'm gonna mute again, because I, I, I'm still going for the Korok Seas, but I, I want to at least unlock the rest of these side quests that I don't have unlocked yet. So I'm going to mute again. Give me a moment. All right, okay, let's see. You're at work right now till one o'clock Eastern, and you're and then you're going to your church for a camera rehearsal for Good Friday and Easter week. Okay, so you so so you're doing that for tomorrow, and then and then Sunday as well. Okay, okay. All right, this particular side quest that I have not yet unlocked. is located in the South Akala Stable. Right here. So we're going to go to the... We're going to walk to the Mayachadeg Shrine. Mayachadeg. I don't know. As a matter of fact, I don't think I, I... I looked at the frame here for that matter either. Alright. Where do I need to be here? Is it you? No. Okay. 
Is it you? No. Alright, I'm not gonna read this. Farming hall. Wait, do I have this on the compendium? Yes, I do. I don't need that. Okay. All right. Oh, I already did this one. I already did that one. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. there's an Addison sign. Oh, good thing I came here. Okay. All right. Addison sign here for later. All right. I gotta go behind those trees. Behind these trees over here. Right behind where Beetle is. What? I found this ore deposit, so I'm gonna smash it and get the gems inside. My hands are a little sweaty, so my grip's not as firm as usual. Otherwise, I'd have busted it by now. What's with that look? You don't think I can do it? Fine then, let's make it interesting. If you can break this ore deposit in one strike, I'll give you all the gems that come out. So step up, if you got the guts. I'm pretty confident in my skills, but with my sword, I can't even make a dent. There's no way... A nobody like you can break it in one strike. One hit wonder. Oh, come on! How? How? I was joking when I said to break it in one go. I came up short because I was only using my arm muscles. But you? You use your brain muscles. Now all I can do is admit that you won. Congratulations, That's a perf that was a perfect strike. The gems are yours, like we agreed, and you've inspired me to get more creative with my weapon designs. Two flints, a, to a topaz, and a sapphire. Alright. You destroyed the ore deposit with a single blow and earned the contents within. Parsi is impressed with your weapon, and she's determined to make one just like it for herself. Alright. Let me go ahead and mute again. All right, all right, let's look for the next side quest. For this side quest, all 
Okay, so for this side quest, I need to go to Zora's Domain. The Mogawak Shrine. Here we go. I think we need to go to the throne room. And believe it or not, we have to talk to Side in here. Hey. Thank you for stopping by, Link. Is it true that you have discovered the fifth sage? I have been tirelessly searching for clues in ancient texts and the ruins of this region. It must be destiny of a sort that you would find another sage after already finding the rest of us. Yeah. So, the fifth sage is a Zonai from ancient times, and her name is Minoru. To think that even as a spirit, she is attempting to fulfill her destiny as a sage. It is heartening to know that we have a new ally. And yes, I say ally, not ally. I must achieve perfect focus in preparation for the final battle. Oh, right. This is perhaps a tad off topic, however. I chanced upon a fascinating passage in some text relating to the Zora royal family. It seems to hint at a secret treasure and adventurer that you are. I thought you might be interested. So, intrigued? Yes, I'm intrigued. You never disappoint, do you? Yes, this is just what I expected of my dearest companion. In that case, I shall let you in on the mystery. There was a passage in the text I mentioned that went as follows. Quote, The great fish, the eternal guardian, a secret treasure awaits just beneath the story, stony form of its statue. Below the long bridge that reaches for the statue, leave your fears behind. Pass beneath two waterfalls to find your prize. End quote. So, what do you make of it? Is it like a good old, good old fashioned treasure hunt? Is it not? That said, it was a very old book, so it is questionable whether that secret treasure is still there or ever was. However, if there is truth in those ancient words, this treasure may be of use to you. If you see fit, I encourage you to seek it. Hello, EC Myers Vids. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? What's this? You have already found it? You are truly amazing. That is the link that I have come to admire so. Hmm, it seems the secret treasure was the same helmet that, sa that the Sage of Water was wearing. This feeling, it is as though that item is resonating with the Sage of Water's power within me. Link, you must make good use of that helmet. There is no doubt in my mind that it will further strengthen the bond we share. I am the Sage of Water, after all. I am certain that it will prove useful on your journey as well. I am with you in spirit, now and always. Should you ever need me, do not hesitate to call upon me, my friend. Oh, so I had already completed the side quest. I just had to talk to Sidon to unlock it. Let me see here. Quote, The great fish, the eternal guardian, a secret treasure awaits just beneath the stony form of a statue. Below the long bridge that reaches for the statue, leave your fears behind. Pass beneath two waterfalls to find your prize. End quote. Oh, it, it was the Varuta Divine Helm. Oh, okay. Okay. You found the Varuta Divine Helm in an underground cavern below Zoners. Oh, so that was the... Let me see the map here. Okay, so that... It was... Right, it was the it was the Divine Helm that I found in the cave. In this cave, under Zora's Domain. Which, inside the cave... was. was was the nearby chasm here too. Okay, so I, I had already completed this side quest. I just needed to talk to Sidon to unlock it. Alright, so let me go ahead and mute myself again. I'll be right back.
All right. Now that that now that that's done. All right. Let's search for the next side quest. Well, the, the the thing is, E.C. Myers, Fids, I'm actually going for 100%. So, there's that. Hello, Light Blue Yoshi fan. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? All right. Let me figure out what the next side quest is. Yes, Korok sees return from Breath of the Wild. They're in this game too. Shrines return in this game too. Yoshi's must be shared. Hmm. Okay. All right. For this particular side quest, we just have to go to the bridge that is east of here. So let's let's go to that bridge now. I'm actually hunting for Korok seeds, EC Myers vids. But what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to unlock these side quests that I haven't done yet. Link, thank you for saving the domain once again. I could never repay you for all that you have done for us. But even though the sludge is gone, these foul villains keep showing up. What's wrong? They're monsters. They built a fort past East Reservoir Lake in the north of Jabu Ridge. They're taking advantage of the chaos that was caused by the sludge. What rotten villains. There's no way to know if it's true, but there's a rumor that a Hylian has been captured. That is unacceptable, and for all we know, the domain could be targeted next. We can't just sit back and watch. Hmm, we need a plan, and fast. Alright. Let's warp to... Okay, so right there. Okay. Okay, the closest shrine is Applegag, so we're going to warp there.
Okay. Okay. I want to believe there's a Korok around here too. Of course there is. All right, here we go. Inside this chest is a Lionel Reaper, which have which we have no space for. Well, I'm gonna leave that there. My current weapon is almost gone. myself I gotta heal got killed by that silver bulk of blin. Okay. Alright. I need to heal now. Badly. Let's heal again. Oh, I took heavy damage there. Okay, I gotta heal again. to heal with raw food
Oh, wait. Why do I have two Gyarados shields? I'm gonna drop one. Okay. There's one more bulk of Lin I, I gotta defeat. Alright. Inside this chest... Our five arrows. Alright. Inside this chest is an amber. All right, the Korok, the Korok should be up here, I think. This rock. All right. That takes care of that one. Okay, there should be one more bulk of blend around here somewhere. Okay, I don't want to leave this arrow behind here. That takes care of that. Okay. You repel the monsters at the fort on the north side of Jabu Ridge. The Zora soldier who told you about the fort, Gaddison, will be eager to hear this news. Alright, so now we have to warp back to Zora's domain. Go to that same east bridge and meet up with Gaddison again. Hello, Renee. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Link, regarding the subject of that monster fort, we decided to gather some soldiers to go and dispense juice. We'll make them pay for their actions. Ah, my fins are shivering with excitement. I defeated them. What? So I guess that means you did all that on your own? Well now, that is quite impressive, Link. Ha ha ha. We put together a team and prepared all night, yet you did this all by yourself. Ha, indeed. Well, let's leave it at that. I'm so grateful that the domain is safe once again. Please, allow me to, to thank you. Take this. 
All that for a silver rupee. This was our fund, our war fund for striking down our enemy. However, since our objective has already been achieved, please accept this as a reward, Link. You have more than earned it with your distinguished service. As for me, I should report that the threat is gone at once. You repelled the monsters that have built the fort, protecting the peace in Zora's domain. When you reported back to Gaddison, she gave you a reward. All right, that takes care of that. I'm gonna mute again and figure out what the next side quest is. Alright, for this side quest, I have to go to the Kara Kara Bazaar. My attached shrine, here we go. Who do I need to talk to here? Okay, I need to talk to her. Her. Sava. I'm Sava. I mean Sava Sava. That was close. If the others heard me, they'd definitely chew me up for using slang on duty. Huh. Sark for fighting alongside. Oh, I mean Sark's soul. With the sand shroud cleared away, supplies can reach the town again. Help yourself to a bow and arrows. My mentor. Uh, yes, I say mentor, not mentor has entrusted me with what feels like an impossible task. She said to stylishly decorate a weapon, but I just don't know how to approach this request. She told me to make it, to quote, make it sparkle, end quote, and that, quote, it must radiate burning passion, end quote. But I don't know what she's talking about. And to top it all off, she's got an allergy to monsters, so that means monster parts won't do. If I just had a weapon I could use as a reference for where to start, that would help a lot. Alright, side quest, decorate with passion. Bora was asked by her mentor to decorate a weapon, but she was stumped by the specific request to make it sparkle and radiate burning passion. 
She is also unable to use monster parts on the task. Perhaps she would benefit from seeing a weapon to use as a reference. Hmm. All right. Give me a moment here. All right, I think I know what I'm gonna use. All right, I'm gonna use, all right, what do I have? All right, I'm gonna use this forest, no, I'm gonna use this royal halberd. And to go with that, I'm gonna equip Where is it? I'm look Okay, I'm looking for a fire breath Lazalfo's horn. All right. Let let's see if this works. Will this do? What about this? Hmm, something isn't quite. I don't know if I'm getting the sparkle, the burning passion from what you've done with the weapon. But still, Sark. I mean, Sark's soul. Oh, oh no, this is not it. Okay. Okay. Okay, destroy fuse material. Oh dear. Alright. Oh, wait, wait. I can't do that. O okay, I actually messed up. Fire Breath is up. That's a monster part, and monster parts are not allowed. Okay. I actually did it wrong. All right, I'm gonna have to regretfully use a gemstone on this one. I'm gonna have to regretfully use a ruby. All right, I hope this counts. Hmm, 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 hold on, give me a moment to study this weapon. Ooh. Ah, so if you touch a ruby like this, huh. that's sparkle, and the weapon positively radiates with burning passion. Give me a moment here. Sorry about that, okay. Even I can make something like this, and it will certainly please my mentor, Sark, for showing me such an expiring decoration. Please, take this. 
Really? All that for an electric key swing? It's the material I would recommend for decorating weapons. A lot of monsters call the desert home, so normally I wouldn't recommend going out there. However, if you want to test the strength of a weapon you've added something to, now is a perfect time. Alright, let me go ahead. I'm gonna mute again. All right, next side quest. All right, for this side quest, we have to go to the East Reservoir Lake. All right, we're gonna walk back to Zora's Domain and go east from the Mogawak Shrine. Oh wait, why am I crossing the uh, bridge again? Actually, never mind. I'm just gonna continue here. Where the froggy clothes? Here they are.
No, this way. Oh, I see a Korok seed over there. Well, a balloon to pop for a Korok seed. Okay. Actually, let me let me get this because I still have more to deal with with all these materials. Okay. Oh, Link. Thanks to your most noble efforts, East Reservoir Lake is as clean as ever. I was so happy I immediately went for a swim for the first time in, a, in far too long. When I did, I found a wondrous stone. It is so dark that you cannot see it too well at present, but it is inside of that cave over yonder. All the blue stones there are of stunning quality. Alas, they are also stunningly heavy. If I tried to swim with one, it would be so heavy I would sink in no time and end up in the depths, wildly swinging my flippers. Uh, if, if only I had one of those stones, I would be able to work in earnest on fixing a Mifa cord. Alright, yeah, the blue stone side quest, so, okay, alright, let me read this, okay. Lido, or Leto, not sure, a Zora stonemason found blue stones of impeccable quality at the cave near East Reservoir Lake. He liked to use one for repairs at Mifa Core. Just one stone would be enough, but they're too heavy for him to swim out with. He's at a loss. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go to that cave he's talking about. And get those blue stones he's referring to. Oh, the Reservoir Lakefront Cavern. Okay, so I have to go in there. Okay, so so that explains things. I, don't, I, I only went in here for the Bubble Frog. And I got all the Bubble Gems already, so... I was not aware... I didn't know that the Blue Stones he was looking for were actually inside this cave. Hello Tom Sonic, welcome to the stream, how are you doing today? I'm, 
I'm, I'm on a temporary high right now. I'm on a temporary hiatus for collecting Korok seeds. I'm in the middle of completing some of these side quests. I have I haven't unlocked them yet, and I want to try to at least unlock them, whether I complete them or not, in this stream. Okay, so I gotta bring these blue stones with me. Okay, I only need to bring one, but still. Okay. Alright. Let me see if I can try to, like, make a boat or something. Oh, I've only got four fans left. Okay, well, let me try a wing. Uh, wait, should I try a wing? No, I'm going to try the sled. I'm going to use a sled, obviously a steering stick, and I need a fan. Oh, the you're just now getting into the game yourself. I can see that. No, 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 not here, not here, not here. Go back, go back, go back. This way. Uh, oh, why did I do that? Oh, come on. I didn't mean to press that button. Ah, that stone. Yes, that is it. That is it. That wondrous stone. <clears throat> I lost my composure for a moment there. Such are the deaths of my joy. Did you, by chance, carry this heavy stone all the way here? A thousand times, I thank you. Now I can fix up Mifa Court. Link, you must allow me to thank you. Please, take this, along with my gratitude and complete awe. This is some elegant fabric that has the Zora emblem stitched onto it. I hope you like it. This fabric is called the Zora fabric. Tough fabric bearing a Zora design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. All right, I shall now set off to begin my repair work. Link, it is so f fortuitous, if I'm saying that right, that you are here to help. Thank you, truly. You brought a blue stone to Lido, who was delighted to, delighted that he can now use it to prepare, repair Mifa Court. Alright, now I'm gonna mute for a bit and I'll be back.
All right. For this side quest, I need to go to the Lurlin village. Okay, the Sifumim Shrine. Here we go. Alright, give me a moment. Who do I need to talk to here? Who do I need to talk to here? Okay, I have to go a little bit from where I am right now. I have to go a teensy wee bit west. Okay, you don't actually know if you want to make content for this game. It will be even more difficult to play a hundred percent. Yeah, um, if I were you, I wouldn't bother with it. You, uh, making content for this game, that's fine, but I wouldn't bother going for a hundred percent if I were you. I'm going for a hundred percent myself. I have my reasons for it. So there you go. Okay, this is who I need to talk to, right here. I heard about you. You're him, right? The person who helped Bolson rebuild the village? Thank you so much. My father, Roselle, speaks very highly of you. You know, I was living with my husband in Hatino Village until not too long ago. When we heard those monsters occupying the village were driven out, we decided to come and look around for ourselves. Overall, I'd say it's looking mostly as it did before. I was born and raised here, so I really appreciate all you've done for this village. Now, I'd like to do my part to help get things going again in Lurlin Village. Problem is, I'm so hungry that I can't think of ideas. Only food. Like one meal that I ate long ago. Hylian rice cooked with gorn spice and porgy. Mmm. Ugh, thinking about it just makes me hungrier. With a few fourfuls of that in my stomach, I'd have the brain power to come up with an idea for livening up the village. But where am I going to find that meal? 
Not here, that's for sure. The ingredients aren't easy to come by. After an extended stay in Hatino Village, Rala has, Ralara has returned home to Lurlin Village, and she wants to come up with something that will draw visitors to the small fishing town. Unfortunately, she's too hungry to focus. She is giving a dish made, of, made with porgy, Hylian rice, and Goran spice. I should still have Hylian rice and Goran spice, but porgy. Hmm. I have Mighty Porgy, or I think I have Mighty Porgy, but I don't know if the other Porgy is also acceptable. Okay. Alright. Okay. Mighty Porgy, Armor po Okay. I'll try one of each and see what happens. Okay, but first I gotta... Actually, no, I don't have to find any... I don't necessarily have to find anywhere to cook. I can, I can just use my Zonai device. Let's use this portable pot. Alright. Okay, let's try one of each. One of each, poor G. Alright, Gorn's Butt Nuts Oil Jar. Gorn Spice, right here. Okay, and... What else? Porgy, Gorn Spice, and Hylian Rice. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I actually had a critical one on that one. And, and there's not even a blood moon outside. Alright. Let's see if this is what... She needs. If not, then I have to use only one poor G. That intoxicating smell. Is that... Yep, seafood curry. Ah! This smell. This is the dish I've been dreaming of. You made it for me? Thank you so much. And now, I eat. That spicy flavor, balanced by a strong note of unami or, or umami, I'm not sure. It's just too delicious. Huh, <sighs> so satisfying. At last, I can start thinking of ways to draw in visitors. Let's see. Wait, oh no! Hot, hot! The Gorn Spice is burning me up. I can't focus when my whole body's on fire. What do I do? I need a gust of wind to cool me down. The seafood curry you gave her was satisfying, but spicy, and now she's burning up. She wants a gust of wind to cool her down. Oh no, don't, don't tell me I need... I need to get a Korok frond. Can't I just use a fan? Oh dear. Let me try using a fan. If that doesn't work, then I'm probably going to have to get Korok Frond and equip it with, with a weapon. There we go. Ah, much better. Now I'm nice and cool. Wait a sec. I... I got an idea. A flag. We can make a flag as a symbol for the village. That'll help draw in visitors and liven up the community. Time to start working on the design. Hello again, Zeldrib. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Okay, okay. This here. That there. Piece of cake. A satisfactory job, if I do say so myself. Thanks. 
Really? I couldn't have dreamed up such a great idea without your help. Now, I think I'll go liven up Lurland Village with a new flag. Here, it's the fabric I use for the flag. Maybe you'll find some other use for it. Alright, we got the Lurland Village fabric. Tough fabric varying a Lurland Village design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. If, if you go to Hatino Village's dye shop, they can probably help with that. Oh, nice. You, you found 124 shrines. Very good. You, you, you still have 28 to go. Wow, you're that close to, f to finishing them. Good job. Okay. You keep forgetting to get that ruby you got on your sword from an enemy to take it off your rubies gain. Oh, dear. Okay. Um, I, came, I, I came up with the idea of using the fan and I didn't read what Tom Sonic said until... I, I just completed it. Tom Sonic was asking if I if I should just use tool tool and I didn't think of that. But it, it's too late now. I already completed the side quest with the fans, so I didn't need Toolin. But I, I kinda saw your point though. If I had used Toolin, maybe it would have saved me from having to use a fan or even re rely on having to get a Korok frond and equip it with a weapon. Okay, give me one moment, I'm gonna mute again. You already did the... The, the South Lome Labyrinth is, is what you're trying to say there? I'm not sure. Okay. Gloomhands tied, oh, tied you, I think. You manhandled them with the Master of Sword. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. All right. Next side quest. Give me one moment. Okay. I need to go to Hatino Village because two of the side quests are actually located in the school. You build up to 24 orbs last night and use them for hearts. Oh, there's a Korok around here. Oh, okay. All right, let's go ahead.
Well, well, good morning to you. Today's lesson concerns Hyrule's history alongside the Calamity. The study history is to learn from those who came before us. A thorough understanding of the past is essential if our children hope to build a better future. You're welcome to sit in on the class and observe if you like. Hmm. Wait, didn't I just see you, mister? Who are you again? I'm a traveler. Wow, you come to watch our class? Well, it's starting soon. I get a little nervous at the idea that someone's going to be watching us today. Morning. I mean, good morning. Mom says I'm supposed to be polite to grown-ups and teachers. I've learned a bunch ever since they started the school. Not every class is fun. History lessons put me to sleep sometimes, but I love it every time we learn about farming stuff. I wonder if Miss Zelda will be back at her home today. Maybe I'll go check after class. Just what road led to Hyrule becoming the place that it is today? I believe that in order for our children to have a bright future, they must first learn about the Calamity. I'd be pleased if you joined us for today's lesson, Link. What? You want to take the class? Have you asked Mr. Simon? Oh, what am I supposed to do here? Uh, mister, can this not wait? Class is about to start. Why don't you watch Professor Simon's lecture with the rest of us? Well, I guess I have to sit here and wait for a few in-game minutes. Um, excuse me, but class is in session now. If you need to talk, please do so after we're finished. Yeah. Today's class will be a history lesson. The story of Hyrule is deeply intertwined with the Calamity, and that is no exaggeration or, or embellishment. The Calamity has been visited upon the land of Hyrule several times before. It was sealed away 10,000 years ago by the sacred princess and a hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness. Isn't that just a fairy tale? Over time, history and legend sometimes blur together. All this stuff about 10,000 years ago and such, who cares? You got any pictures or proof to back up this so-called 10,000 year old calamity? It's no fairy tale, I assure you. These are real historical events. This is a problem. I'll need to show them some kind of depiction of the calamity from 10,000 years ago. Otherwise, this lesson is over before it began. I'm sorry, Link. This isn't how I thought the lesson would go. If I had more foresight, I'd have borrowed the screen depicting the calamity from Lady Impa's Hall. Oh, okay, so I have to go there. Okay. If only I could show these children a detailed image of the screen depicting the calamity, I think they'd understand. Although I suppose it isn't Lady Impa's Hall now, is it? More accurate, more accurate to call it Lady Pia's Hall. Okay, okay, so I have to go to the village. Okay, let me see. Okay, Simon's students didn't put much stock in the story of the Calamity. He thinks that if he could show them an elaborate picture of the screen depicting the Calamity, they would believe his history lesson. Pious Hall. Okay, so I gotta go. Okay. All right. Right here.
Oh, 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 it was, it was aiming at the A-fold blade. That's not what I'm trying to take a picture of. Oh, gold has to go. All right, thanks for being here, gold. That's that Korok. Okay, I'm having trouble figuring this out. All right, give me a moment. It was upstairs. I was in. I was. I was upstairs, but I wasn't at the exact spot to take the picture. All right. It was right there. Now we go back.
quite a conundrum. So, ah, for this class, we'll be going over the calamity again. Let's start by reviewing our last lesson. Mr. Simon, can you prove any of this? Isn't it more likely that over time, history and legend started to blur together? Are we still talking about that stuff that happened 10,000 years ago? Can you point to any paintings or images that was that actually show there was a calamity 10,000 years ago? I can see I'll have to actually show the class the screen depicting the calamity to move my lesson plan forward. I have a picture to show. What's this? A screen depicting the calamity. C class, pl please take note here. This is a rare opportunity to see your primary source regarding the calamity. Wow, this looks like the real thing. So the legend was true? That's amazing. You know, seeing this makes it feel like it might have happened yesterday. Well, if you got documented proof, that's good enough for me. Go on, Mr. Simon, tell us the rest of the story about the calamity. Ah, of course. Thank you so much, Link. My lecture about the calamity might run long, but I hope you'll stay for it anyway. Tell me. A calamity has visited this land of Hyrule several times over. However, 10,000 years ago, there were divine beasts built by the Sheikah using their advanced technology. Each of them was controlled by a skilled pilot as well. With the sword that seals the darkness and the power of the sacred princess, the ancient hero stopped the calamity. For a long while after that, the lands of Hyrule knew, knew peace. But the time when the people forgot about the calamity was the moment it returned to menace them once more. Tell us more. When, all, when did all this happen? This all happened about 100 years ago. It began with an oracle prophesying the calamity's return. The royal family took their cues from the legends of the past. They found and excavated the divine beasts. Skilled members of the Rito, Gorn, Zora, and Gerudo peoples were selected to pilot them. They were called the Champions. With the wielder of the sword that seals the darkness and the sacred princess, all the pieces from the legend were in place. But, this time, the calamity would not be bested so easily. D -d -d Did something happen? Sadly, the sacred, prince sacred princess was unable to, to awaken the holy power within her. The divine beasts were taken over by the calamity. Those selected to pilot them lost their lives in the process. Worse still, the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness was badly hurt. Was badly hurt. Just when all seemed lost, the sacred princess came into her power and devoted her whole being to keeping the calamity at bay for 100 years. Is everyone following along so far? After spending 100 years dormant, the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness awakened, his wounds healed. He won back the divine beast with the help of several allies, and yes I say allies, not allies, including some of the champion's descendants. And in the end, the hero defeated the calamity and the sacred princess stopped the evil one. Sorry, I got a little emotional there at the end. It's a true story though. All that we have, our land, our lives, our civilization, we owe it to all those who fought for it through the centuries. Wow, I want to be like the ancient hero and give the next generation good lives too. Ah, that went splendidly. Words cannot convey my satisfaction. And I couldn't have done it without you showing us the screen link. Once again, thank you so much for your assistance. Oh, that's right. You should have something for all your help. Would this do? 10 Hylian rice is nice. Okay. 10 batches of Hylian rice. With the new vegetables being developed, they're harvesting less rice these days. That's a shame, as it's a favorite of mine. You should taste it for yourself, Link. Speaking of rice, our next subject is home economics. I plan to use the occasion to talk up dishes that use Hylian rice. Contributions. History class is ordinarily a bit slow paced for the children's taste. That last lesson may have been the first time I've seen them enjoying a history lecture so much. Our next class is a home economics lesson. Naturally, you're free to sit in again if the subject interests you. Today's lecture is on home economics. Food is essential for our survival. A keen culinary sense can help you stay alive in this perilous world. I'd like to put a question to you all. What dish do you get by mixing Goran spice with Hylian rice and raw meat? Ah. 
Goran's Spice is the hot stuff they sell in, sell in Goran City in the Northeast, right? If it's got Goran's Spice in it, the answer can't be anything but curry. But the only other thing in it is raw meat, right? So obviously, the answer has to be meat curry. Yes, that's correct. That one might have been on the simple side for all of you. How about this one then? Take Goran Spice, Hylian Rice, and mix in Monster Extract. What do you get then? Monster what? Um, aren't monster parts only used for medicines? Yeah, if you try to cook with monster parts, it's a disaster every time. No one would eat curry made with monster stuff. I call it trick question. Hey, hey, settle down, children. Hmm, this lesson may be too advanced. In fact, combining monster extract, Goran spice, and Hylian rice makes monster curry. But judging from your skeptical faces, you won't believe me unless I can put a dish of it in front of you. I'd love to make some curry for them, but I don't have any monster extract. I'm told that it can be had in Terrytown, up north in Akala. Okay. Okay. This should be easy. All I have to do is cook a dish and make those monster parts. Let me see that side quest again. Okay. Goran Spice, Hylian Rice, and Monster Extract. Okay. I should, I, sh I should still have Monster Extract, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. So all I have to do is just cook the dish. Certainly, it would be wonderful if you could assist me with my study of the Calamity. But right now, I'm stowing over how to get the children to try Monster Curry. Oh, I recognize that distinctive sin. If you wouldn't mind, could you give that to the curry to the children in my next class? Oh, so... Oh, so I guess class is over. So I guess now I'm going to have to sit in the campfire until the afternoon, I guess. Or I could sleep as well. I don't have to sit in a campfire, to be fair. I can't sleep on these beds. Okay. The, all right, let's go to. Oh, okay, okay, right here, right here. Until noon. Everybody understand? Okay. It's time to continue our lesson on home economics. If you take corn spice, Hylian rice, and mix in monster extract, what do you get? The teacher's confused again. Mr. Simon, you're the one who taught us that monster parts would only be used for medicine. Yeah, 
If you try to cook monster parts, it's a disaster every time. Oh, I already read that. Okay. How am I going to get th through to them? My, mm, yes. Oh, let me read that again. Mm, yes. That spicy scent is familiar. I have the curry. This is monster curry. The genuine article. C class, come here and see. This curry was prepared using monster extract. The color looks a little off. Oh, but it tastes better than I expected. Whoa, you're right. It doesn't have that monster musk I was worried about. So if you extract something special from monsters, you can use that for cooking? Delicious. That's right, everyone. Ordinarily, monster parts are only to be used in medicine, but monster extract can be used in meals as well. I'm so happy that my lesson on the subject has finally sunk in. Thank you so much. See those solemn expressions on their faces? The children have matured a bit with today's lesson. You might not think yourself a teacher, Link, but you've already taught them a great deal. I'm not much good at history, but you made it fun, Mr. Link. And the curry tasted great. I pretty much think of you as my teacher already anyway. Thanks, Mr. Link. I can't wait for our next lesson with you. You're a hit with the students, too. You've earned the right to use the school's field. That's the one behind the schoolyard. Ba space is limited, so you can't plant an entire farm back there. But use what we have to cultivate whatever you'd like. Uma typically tends the field. Why don't you talk to her to get things set up? Next time, I'm planning a test that will cover everything we've studied up to now. You're welcome to sit in any time. I hope you'll stay involved with our classes here. Hands-on experience, okay. Extends beyond the classroom. No matter where or when you... Let me read that again. No matter when or where, if you see children, you have a responsibility to them. Yeah, okay. Alright, I'm gonna mute again. I'll be back. All right, this side quest that I'm that I'm doing next happens to be right over here. Hello there. Well, well. I wonder when you'd be by. Simon said we should ask you what to plan in this here plot. You you know, as thanks for helping out with the school. You showed up just when I was finishing the prep work for it. I could grow pumpkins, carrots, tomatoes, wild berries, wheat, rice, or melons. If you bring me one of those, I'll extract the seeds and plant them for you. Before you decide, I should admit one thing. 
I have more experience with some crops with some crops than others. I don't know too much yet about raising endura carrots and hardy radishes. You'll have to forgive me if the yield on those ends. Uh, uh, let me read that again. If you'll, you'll have to forgive me if the yield on those ends up a little lower than the rest. Well now, let's get down to it. What do you, what do you like to grow? Let's do a swift carrot. Yes. Certainly. I'll take that from you and be pleased to do it. Can't return anything once you hand it over mine, but if you feel like planting something else, come see me. Oh, and I hope you'll let me know about your first harvest so I can be there to see. I'm already hankering to see how the crop turns out. But you have to know, the important part of growing food crops is to take your time raising them. You can't expect them to thrive while you kill time at an inn or bonfire. That ain't how things are done. The veggies, no. Oh, so if I were to sleep in an inn, they won't grow so fast like that. Or if I were to s set up a campfire and then... Okay, no, that wouldn't work. So it'll take a bit before they're ready to harvest. But I'm already getting excited. To celebrate you becoming a teacher, Uma will grow something you like. Your choice is limited to pumpkins, carrots, radishes, tomatoes, wild berries, wheat, rice, and hydromelons. If you talk to Uma after planting something, she can plant something else instead. I think it'll be a while before I complete this side quest, so let me just move on to the next one. All right, let's go to the Dueling Peak Stable. Tell me, Ling, do you know where to find Hyrule's most beautiful sunrise? At the edge of the sea southeast of here is a small fishing village called Lernin. 
It has a reputation as a resort town. But its real claim to fame is the beautiful moment where the sun rises over the horizon and lights up the whole village. And they say the most breathtaking view of this sunrise is from the summit of Tuft Mountain. I'd love to see that view myself, but it's so far away and I just can't leave work, nor can I climb mountains. If only I could see Hyrule's finest sunrise, I'd paint my own picture of it and finally put that frame to use. Okay. Tasserin, the owner of Dueling Peak Stable, wants to hang a painting of Hyrule's finest sunrise, which is said to be visible from the summit of Tuft Mountain to the southeast of the stable. Maybe there's a way to take a picture of it and show it to Tan. Okay. Alright. I'm just unlocking some of these side quests. Not that I'm necessarily doing them. I've completed some, but I want to try to at least unlock all these side quests that I haven't done yet. Alright, next one. Gonna mute again. All right, for this side quest, we have to talk to Riju again, so we gotta go to Gerudo Town. Link, I'm glad to see you here. Are you finding my new powers of sage helpful? I haven't found any clues about the fifth sage yet, but I'm not about to give up. What? You found the fifth sage? Interesting. So she's an ancient Zonai named Minoru. And even though she's lost her original body, she's pledged to fight alongside us as a sage of spirit. I don't know if you'll find this information helpful, but... After I became a sage and returned to town, I discovered an interesting ancient reference. Quote, Seek out the swordswoman upon the sand and look to where she points. There is treasure waiting underground. End quote. That was written in an old document I discovered. I doubt it holds any connection to Zelda, but it might be a clue to something. The swordswoman upon the sand, treasure underground, it could be worth looking into. What? You already found it? I see. So the treasure was armor affiliated with the ancient Gerudo. I knew you'd be able to find it. Take it with you and make good use of it. Treasure of the Gerudo Desert. Okay, so that one was already completed. Oh, the, it was that Divine Helm, wasn't it? Let me see. You followed these directions and discovered an underground cave. Hidden within it was the... Yes, the Vana Boris the Vinyl. So that side quest was already completed. I needed to talk to Regia to unlock it. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Give me a moment.
All right, next side quest. All right, let's figure this out. All right, for this side quest, I need to go to Tentacle Island. Okay, closest shrine is in Eventine Island, so we'll, we're going here. Okay. All right.
Just a little bit more. Oh, I went too far. Whoops. Hello, Billy. I'm doing good. How's it going for you? you? You'll be busy. You're busy right now, but you'll be looking. Okay. There's actually a Korok seed here. Oh, well, I'm here in Tanoko Island, but... Hmm. There don't seem to be anything. Okay, give me one moment. Oh, okay, so as it turns out, oh, uh, I'm sorry, you guys were hearing some noises from over here, I'm sorry about that, I forgot to mute my microphone, anyway, um, alright, so as it turns out, okay, I need to, oh, I gotta attach these boats together, that's what I need to do, that's part of what I need to do.
Oh, I only have one left. Oh, dear. I don't know. Okay, I don't think I'll be needing these batteries. One moment. Alright, so from here I need to go to Lurlin Village again. Okay. Oh, I gotta... You know, no, 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 I don't. No, I don't. I was gonna say, I gotta, like, m make a turn or something. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, my God. Not a blood moon now.
All right, one moment. Okay, all right, I gotta bring it closer. Okay, I need to bring it over here. Uh, without that boat, I guess I'm just stuck. Oh, you're Link. Well, here you are, our hero. I returned to my village when I heard that the pirates disappeared. Who would think I'd bump into you here? Well, unfortunately, I don't really have time to chat. The thing is, my boat's gone, and with it, how I get my trading done. I don't know where it's gotten to. All the boats in the village are gone, too, so I can't even find a replacement for it. I'm sure that because of the mayhem the monsters caused, they all got washed out, washed out to sea. Things that float away from our village often wash up on Tonoko, an island off the eastern coast. Maybe they're there. Of course, Tonoko Island is way out to sea and I don't have a boat to get a boat. It seems like I'm stuck then. I'll never be able to reopen my shop. I sell some things you can only find here, and my customers are eager to see me get my shop up and running again. I just need to get my, my hands on a boat, that's all. Sorry, is that? Has there always been a boat there? Unbelievable. You found a boat for me. Thank you so much. Such generosity demands swift action. So, if you'll just excuse me for a bit. Hmm, so I need so I need this part. And that goes there, I think. Ah, get that out of the way. And yeah? No? Maybe? Yes, it's done. Ta-da! What do you think? I'm going to call this fine vessel the uh, the ever lovely Mobs. Something about giving it a name really makes it more important to me. Here, take this. It's the least I can do after you help me reopen my store. A star fragment. This is very rare. This is a very rare thing you can't buy anywhere. I don't sell star fragments either, but Michelle does try to stock rare things you can't find elsewhere if I can. I take pride in my goods, so please come back to shop whenever you like. 
A way to trade washed away. You gave a boat to Garini. He quickly rebuilt, rebuilt it as a trading vessel and reopened his general store. Alright, that's another side quest out of the books. Let's find the next. Let's go to where the next one is. I'm going to mute myself again. All right, all right. For this side quest, we need to go to the Osira Plains. Okay, so this shrine, the Ishokin Shrine. From here, we're going west. A locked trash tre chest. Inside the treasure chest are five bonfires. Good, I could use those. Thank you. 
Okay, we gotta talk to this person, I think. Yeah, okay. There's no end to them. This is a real pile of garbage, isn't it? Hard not to be upset at the sight. I spotted it during my travels, and the sight bothered me so much I couldn't help stopping to clean it up. I believe that we travel travelers have a duty to protect the beauty of nature and not sully it with trash. Yep, when I leave a place, I want it to be cleaner than when I arrive. That's why I even travel with a broom, as you can see. Unfortunately, these tumbleweeds keep rolling in. There's just no end to it. I can't keep up. I do want to leave this place cleaner than when I arrive, so I just can't overlook all of this. I think I can make progress here if only these tumbleweeds didn't keep tumbling in. Right, let me see. He, Barls is trying to clean up a mountain of garbage but can't cope with the large number of tumbleweeds that have blown in. She's trying to dispose of them one by one but they just keep rolling back. If only she could get rid of the tumbleweeds then she'd make some progress on cleaning. All right, continuing. <laughs> Hello, Cam Dog. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today, Cam Dog? Ten like hype, yeah, let's go. Oh, Giga Gamer, you're still here. Okay. 
All right, just a little bit more. Alright, hopefully that's all of them. Ma? Oh, the tumbleweeds are gone. Eh? Oh, did you clean them all up? There were so many. Wasn't that a lot of work? Thank you so much. Please, take this. It's something special I found while I was cleaning. Huh? Your pouch is full. Oh, she's gonna give... Oh, okay. She's gonna give me a shield, but I have no space for it. Okay. Okay, what? What shield should I get rid of? I mean, uh, I have quite a few duplicates. Hmm. I think I'll get rid of the shield of the oops, shield of the mind's eye. I'll get rid of I'll get rid of that. A royal shield. <laughs> Not all the tumbleweeds are gone. I can handle cleaning up the rest of this by myself. Leave it to me. You cleaned up the tumbleweeds that were piling up in the mountain of garbage. After they were gone, Barls gave you her thanks and was eager to take on cleaning up the garbage pile somehow. All right, that takes care of that. I'm going to mute again. You're still here, Billy. That's good.
All right. For this side quest, okay. All I have to do is go go west and a bit north because I need to be in Mount Grenage. I don't know I don't know if she's still here or not, um, Giga Gamer. I don't know. I would assume she is, but she does she just doesn't really say much. Okay, yes. Yeah, so, Alright, I'm losing health due to heat, but I'm not bothered by it for the most part. This way, this way. I'm not going to worry about the Korok right now. <laughs> this person right here. You there, you have got to be more than ordinary if you've come all this way. Know my name, Rado, the man who withstands, he who endures. Welcome to my contest of endurance set in the harsh climbs of Gerardo Canyon. Can you last? Will you prove yourself? We, we will each put 50 rupees on the line and the enduring victor will take all. I'll pass. Very well. Come again if you ever want to give it a try. I'll be waiting here, enduring until then. Alright, I'm going to do the unthinkable here. I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to do this. And that unfortunately means taking off the Korok mask. Alright. Okay. I'm in. That's what I like to hear. Alright, then let me explain how this contest of endurance works. To start, each of us puts 50 rupees on the line. Then whoever gives their all, takes it all. The contest will be held on top of those pillars and lasts from evening till dawn. If you can endure the frigid cold for that entire stretch of time, you win. But if you set foot on the ground or run so low on vitality that I determine your life is at stake, you immediately lose. What's more, let's make this a challenge. Anyone can endure the cold with clothing, so only the very basics are allowed. Otherwise, you can do anything else you want. Now, are you ready? 
Haven't lost your nerve? My nerves are steel. Heh, I like the cut of your jib. Gotta say, my blood's on fire here. I'm ready to get cold. This contest will whittle you down to nothing. Your vitality just straining away. You better get ready for that. So, you let me know when you're set, alright? Oh, wait, do I have to talk to him again? You're prepared to spend 50 rupees and compete against me? Yes, I'm ready. Haha. <laughs> right, then I'll take those 50 rupees now. Perfect. I'll just hold on to th those for safekeeping. And tomorrow evening, when the sun sets, our battle of wills begins. Behold, the sun is sinking behind the western horizon. Push yourself past your limits. Withstand the call until the sun rises in the east once more. Now get ready and endure. It'll be a while. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to stay here and make sure I don't do anything. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm kind of doing this wrong. Okay, let me switch to the Master Sword. Okay, there we go. That's what I have to do. Uh oh, I'm shivering.
All right, just a bit more. Okay, I'm gonna regretfully use something up. I hope this doesn't count as me cheating and I get disqualified. I'm gonna eat a few apples. Okay. Oh dear. goes nothing <sighs> Ugh. looks like I lost Never thought I'd be out in dirt, but you've got what it takes. I'll give you that. You win, so you get to take all. Here, it's yours. Alright, I got my purple rupee back, and I get another purple rupee to go with it. So that's a silver rupee. But this isn't the end. My mighty endurance shines brightest in the scorching heat. Our next contest of endurance will be held under the blazing hot sun. Don't you dare quit on me while you're ahead. I'll be waiting. Haha. <laughs> All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place a travel medallion. Okay. You managed to defeat Rado in his cold endurance contest. However, he refused to take your victory lying down and immediately changed you to a heat endurance contest. Okay. All right. I'm going to place a travel medallion here. Alright. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fully restore my health. I'd rather do that than just keep using up my food.
Okay, I gotta put some clothes on or they're gonna kick me out. Spot plan, please. <laughs> In the morning. Oh, okay. The, I have to mute. There's music uh, playing here. I'm sorry, guys. I have to mute. Ah! <sighs> 
Oh.
Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I can finally talk again. Alright. Next, Korok Seed. Okay. 
There's one over here. Thank you. Yeah, again, I'm sorry that I was muted for that whole time. Yeah, my mom was listening to music again. Just like the last stream. Oh, I had a I had a Korok here marked previously. Okay, there's one. There's one here. Okay. Alright, let's see, where else? Over here. Alright, there's one here. All right, let's go ahead. All right, let's do this one first. Let's do these two first. We're going to walk to the Reset Taco Act Shrine. Is it here? All right, got it. There's one down here. This tree. this way Oh 
Okay, okay, this should be another easy one. Next, we're going to go to this one. Alright, and th there's one over here, actually. Let's go ahead and move on here. All right, this way. I have a side quest here. I haven't completed it yet. I only unlocked it. But I'm still searching for Korok Seas at the moment. And there's one more south from here. Okay. Let's manually save again. All right, I'm going to mute again. I'll be back.
All right, let's go ahead. Alright, we're going west from here. Oh, wait, did, did, did I already do these two? Oh, I forgot now. Oh, I forgot, oh, I forgot if I did those two now. It might have been these two over here. All right, let's just move on. Wait, is, is that an innocent sign over there? Yes, it is. Okay. All right, that that takes care of that one. All right. Straight ahead. That might be a trap. Let me put on the Giga Clan outfit. Yeah, that's a trap. That's a trap. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. Okay, all right, I'm gonna mute again, and as I do, I'm gonna also manually save again, so give me one moment. All right, here we go. The gimmick shrine. Let's go.
All right, go. Let's go ahead. Um, the Korok mask. I gotta put that on again. It's this rock, I think. We gotta go this way. Okay, and where did I pin the last one? Okay. Alright, so we have to go back to the Rasatakawak Shrine and go northeast from there. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. You have a ton of zona, so you usually just build a quad copter to get the Koroks to get. Oh, okay. Well, sadly, I'm very much out of zonite, and it turns out I need a certain amount to complete one of the side quests I still haven't done, so. Alright, that takes care of that. Well, I should probably heal. Alright. I'm gonna mute again. All right, let's go ahead. All 
should, I should probably heal. I'm gonna heal. I'm close to that stable, so might as well. I mean, I'm gonna warp to the shrine that's close to that stable. That's what I meant. As a patron of the stables, you'll receive half off on all fees that are in. Okay, yeah, so I I scored enough pony points and I received that as a reward. So, yeah. Yeah, 10 rupees for a regular bed, 25 for the Melania. Alright. I'll pay Melania, why not? Morning. Watch out for the Giga Clan members around where the uh, Call Engine Tech Lab was. Y y uh, I'm aware. I'm aware. As long as I have the full outfit, I, I, I should probably go in no problem. Yes, I did. All right. Okay. Alright, next we're gonna go up north. Bloodleaf Lake. I'm gonna change back to the to the top part of the Yiga outfit so I'll have the full clothes on again. As long as I have these clothes on these full clothes on I can enter the Akala Ancient Tech Lab no problem. Oh, and there's an Addison sign here, too.
All right, let's change back. All right, that takes care of that one. Oh, okay, right here. All right, I need to offer not apples, but rather mighty bananas. Okay. All right, one moment. I have to go to the topmost part of the lab. All right, that takes care of that, I think. All right. <clears throat> Okay, I took care of that one already to also. All right. Lome Labyrinth Island. All right, we got to warp to the Igashuk Shrine to get this one.
Come on. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, right here. Don't fail me, controller, because you've been failing me a lot recently. You really have. Alright, that's that one gone. Alright, back to the Jochi EU shrine. And from here, we're gonna go north, right where Melania Spring or Melania, I don't know how to pronounce that. Melania or Melania Spring is. Oh, I've been live for over seven hours. You know what? I, th I think I'll save those for Rebella Wetlands in the next for the next stream because I mean, how do I say it? If I wasn't completing all those side quests, I probably would have been going for those from Rebella Wetlands Skyview Tower by now. I have to remember, I gotta meet up with with the four dragons again, and, th and there's a reason for that.
there's gotta be some way to get up there. I'm gonna have to regretfully do this. I'm gonna have to take out a few stakes and wings. I mean, I don't think it'll help with the Korok, but I'll, I'll, I'm gonna try. Really? I was only able to take out one?
Really? I was trying to get it up? To oh my god, are you serious? This is gonna be harder than I thought. Oh, now look what I did. I detached the wing from there. Really? Really? Oh, I gotta bring this one out a bit more. Okay. Oh my god! Are you serious? Oh my god! Now I have to bring the Korok up there again! Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh man. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, that was a bit tough. Alright, let me manually save so that I don't have to deal with those two Koroks anymore. Alright, now I'm gonna mute again and I'll be right back. You're going to head out now, Tom Sonner? All right, well, thanks for being here. You have a good night. I greatly appreciate you being here once again. I'm just going to get these last Korok seeds. I only have a few left from this, sky, part, this particular Skyview Tower, and then I'm going to end it.
All right, here we go. All right, with these Korok seeds pinned, we're going to continue now. All right, let's put on the Korok mask again. Stay out of my way, Black Boca Blin. All right, we're going this way first. Alright, this way. All right.
Hello, Dragon the Gamer. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? It's been a while since you've been in my streams. I don't think I told you. I don't think you were aware, but I, I, I was gone on a short break for over a month. If you're wondering why I haven't been streaming anymore, that's why. Oh, you've been really busy yourself. Okay. Oh, come on, really? I didn't come here for this. Why did you just randomly show up out of bloody nowhere? Get away from me, I'm not going to fight you! Oh, man.
If this controller would stop moving by itself, I wouldn't be having this much trouble right now. No, I can't do it from here. Oh, I need to use two more, don't I? Oh, man. I think it's clear that I need to get more Zonai devices.
I didn't mean to take out that emitter. Oh, that didn't work. Oh my god, why am I having difficulty with this one too? Oh, another tough one. Okay, manually save again so I don't have to deal with those two. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
All right, I have a few left, or I, or I should have a few left. There's one over here. And there's one around here. This one is right about right about here, I think. Okay. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. Another blood moon. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Walk to the shrine. I'm 
I'm so glad I completed that Korok puzzle before the Blood Moon happened. All right, let's go. I may have taken a bit of damage there, but at least I got the Korok Seed. Alright. These three that I pinned here should be the last three for... the entire Ori Mountain Skyview Tower. All right, here we go.
Alright, this is another offering over here. An apple. And the last one, I'm assuming it's the last one. I just have to keep going in this direction. Another Korok puzzle. There we go. Okay. Alright. That should be all of them. I don't know if it's all of them or not. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it is. Alright. Alright. Let's go ahead. Okay. I think I'm going to actually end the stream now. I've been live for over 8 hours. And it's time I... Took a rest. Let's fully restore our health again. Oh. Pay a regular bed. Oh. No, I'm paying. Oh. Morning. Two more points. Okay, let me see. Read the ledger. Okay. Points and rewards. 
Two more points for five additional free sleepover tickets. Okay. About pony points. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and save again manually. All right. I've been live for over eight hours. I think it's time to end the stream now. Let's see if we can find someone to target for raiding. Alright, I think I'm gonna raid Greed Torp. He's live with Super Mario 64, trying to go for all 120 stars, 100% playthrough. There's the link. I've copied and pasted it four times. All right. Can I use the redirect feature? Yes, I can. All right. There it is. All right. That's going to be the conclusion of this stream of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This is BlueHMS17 signing out. I will be back with you guys on this game on Saturday. And I'll have to think about what I'm going to try to possibly stream tomorrow. So that's going to be it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm going to see you guys on Saturday for more of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Take care, everyone. Sayonara.